What's up guys, in today's video, I go over my new armored amplification Sabo 50 watt. Stay tuned. What is up my Facebook fam? It's your boy Luis Torres and if you've been watching my channel for a while then you probably know that earlier this year I was lucky enough to have the owner of Armored Amplification send me a demo uh, or prototype of the Armored Amplification 50 watt Sabo head. Luckily enough I have been granted the opportunity to own literally serial number one of the Sabo heads. So this one is completely hand wired by James, the owner of Armored Amplification in Florida. And, you know, it has a few little different tweaks than the uh, prototype did. So I was just like, I need to go ahead and make a video featuring this guy. And it is absolute beast. So, uh, with this armored amplification 50 watt Sabo, I am using my new VFE Dragon Overdrive pedal because that thing is an absolute monster. And uh, as some of you probably know, I actually went ahead and got rid of my Fortin Roach and it has been replaced with the Peppers Pedals Buff Out Buffered... Uh, <laughs> pedal. So, uh, so huge shout out to Tony Peppers in New Zealand. Uh, thank you again. And that thing is an absolute great replacement. And I'm glad that, you know, it's, it's someone that I super appreciate someone who I respect and everyone, you know, clearly loves the, uh, the Peppers dirty tree. I own three of them and love each and every single one of them. So let me go ahead and I'll be using my 1991 ESP M2 custom. This one is the model with the uh, Seymour Duncan Nazgul in the bridge. And let me go ahead and switch the mics over. So what I ended up doing with this with the Sabo is basically the same thing I usually tend to do when I'm using an overdrive. So I have the level on the VFE Dragon uh, set to max. I have the gain set to nine o'clock just so I can have a little. And with that being said, adding a little gain, I actually cut it back on the Sabo itself. And, you know, it has the Jose mod, so you have to, you know, kind of fine tune the gain one and the gain two. Uh, but aside from, you know, all the different amps that I have, like that Sabo is, an, is a complete beast. It's a, it's a monster. And someone had actually recently asked, um, because if you guys remember, I actually ended up getting the 
Cherryatone uh, Yeti, which is a 50 watt with uh, which is a Marshall clone that has the Jose mod. And someone asked, you know, hey, how is the Sabo in comparison to your Cherryatone? And although that says Marshall, uh, it's because I changed the logo on there because I had an extra Marshall logo. Um, they're different. You know, the two have their distinct flavors. Uh, also, it's uh, incredible that the uh, Armored Sabo actually has, um, you can drop it down to 5 watts, 10 watts, 20 watts, or 50 watts. So you have that variant there as far as the wattage goes. Uh, so overall, tone-wise, it's definitely a little different than the uh, Chariotone Yeti 50 watt. Um, it just has different options. You know, it, it's almost like comparing... You know, a, Marsh, uh, a Mesa rectifier to a Bogner Ubershaw, like they're in the same ballpark, but if you wanted to change your tone, you completely can, uh, where one sounds uh, uh, super different, distinctly different than the other, and I feel like the Sabo uh, does exactly the same thing with the uh, Chariot Tone, and in case you guys don't know, the... Uh, Sabo basically competes against amps like the Fort and Cali and the Fort and Meshuggah. So, um, you know, it, it's, you know, I don't want to say that it's a cheaper alternative because, you know, when people think of cheap, they think, you know, huge discount, you know, the Sabo is still going to run you 1800 bucks, uh, and worth it. I mean, it's, it's absolutely incredible. So if you guys get the chance and you get the opportunity to buy yourself a, uh, an armored amplification, 50 watt Sabo. You're going to absolutely love it. James always has something coming down the pike. So I'm super excited about armored amplification and their custom cabinets, uh, working with arachnid cabinets. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot going on with the company, which is always great. And, you know, in the end, dude, you know, you know me, man, I love all these companies, but you know, we're, we're at a time now where, I've always been one of those guys who's just like, you know, lots of American products don't really do that well up against uh, foreign um, gear. And it's completely the opposite now. You know, you, you have Kyle in Ohio with KSR. You have James with Armored Amplification uh, down in Florida. There's all of these incredible companies that are coming out that are in the U S and not to say that KSR or armored, uh, are just coming out. Um, but you know, it's definitely, you know, you, you got to root for the, for the hometown team. Right. And that, you know, I feel like James and armored amplification is just that. So let me switch over again. Let me stop yapping and you guys can have another listen to the, uh, the Sabo. <laughs> Thank you. 
So I'm hoping that you guys are able to hear how incredible that amp is. Um, you know, I feel like the Sabo had a great amount of steam and it did great earlier this year. And then unfortunately we ended up getting into, you know, the whole COVID season and that's just been completely crazy. And, you know, it, it's been hurting a lot of companies, but now that things are finally getting better to me, I feel like, you know, it's time to get back to some normalcy. It's time to get some guitars, time to get some pedals, get some amps. And if you guys get the chance to buy the Armored Sabo, get it, or at the very least consider getting the Armored Amplification Sabo 51. I think you're going to love it. I'll put a link uh, in the description below, so make sure you click on that. Guys, thank you so much for watching. You guys are the best. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't, jerk. And hopefully I will continue making you guys laugh. Thank you so much for letting me reach. Uh, we're at over 3,200 subscribers, which is crazy. So thank you guys. You guys are the best and keep sharing. And hopefully you guys will get all your friends to get this channel up to a hundred thousand subscribers. Not that a little hap, not that it, I don't think it'll ever happen, but that would be funny if it did. So guys, thank you again. Enjoy your weekend and I'll talk to you guys soon.